Hi, I'm Alexi, and this is Lapa Introduction. Lapa is a web development boilerplate project in Rust. I started it because I love to work with Leptos, Axum, and Prisma, and I want to have practical full stack setup to build websites and services. In this video, I'll talk about technology under the hood, show how it looks like in the browser now, and walk through the code base to see how features can be implemented. Leptos is like React, Remix and SolidJS in Rust ecosystem. It has components with signals, the component function is not render function, it's a setup and running once. Then only parts that subscribe to signal will be reacting. Then we have server functions that work with form data, they are running directly when rendering on server and accessed as HTTP endpoint from the client. Axum is a backend framework, similarly to others it has routing and middlewares, special here is ecosystem. Tower handles middlewares part, hyper handles HTTP and Tokyo is for asynchronous input-output. These are trusted and performant libraries. Another advantage of Axum is its ergonomics, like an example here a simple road handle functions and it's only need to return something that implements into response trait. There are plenty of implementations. Leptos has integration layer with Axum and there are a bunch of examples in repo. Prisma is like ORM, resolves the issue of untyped database queries in composable way and handles migrations. Most popular in JavaScript and TypeScript community, Prisma engines itself written in Rust. But to use it in Rust project, there is an official client. First website, it's server-side rendered with hydration on client, so it is a single page application in the end. HTML is processed immediately, then browser loads Wasm and Wasm binds in JavaScript. When I click on the internal link, there is a request for page data and no request for HTML. History navigation is handled by framework, so click back and browser loads data for home page. Now admin, login and VC dashboard with minimal stats. Settings page and post list page with publish date or draft status. Opening post leads to a form, we can update post, preview image before upload, add image description waiting for upload. Voila, so we can now update order of images and select who is hero. HTML dialog to preview image, update description or delete it completely. Danger zone to delete post. We can also unpublish post or change publication date. Can be used to plan it publish in future. Oh, and we are mobile first. And support dark and light themes. Props to open props. First design tokens in CSS variables. Pseudo class where with zero specificity makes it easy to override any style. Back to the project, workspace includes main package for site, admin package, Prisma folder with schema and migrations, Prisma CLI package to generate Prisma client, Prisma client package itself with generated client, we are left with folders for uploads and converted images, CLI package based on club. Ops folder with scripts that read .env and build, deploy, rerun site, plus other DevOps related scripts, and for convenience, few aliases in cargo config. Main entry point is for server, and we see Axum router, Leptos roads with handler generating Axum roads, and is part of the Leptos roads trade with implementation for Axum router. It will load data, provide context for server functions, and render application. Then two endpoints to handle server functions. Private road is protected by session checker and public one is not. Images handler to serve them from specific folder and to add cache headers. At this point, if no road matched, checking if there is file matching URL, otherwise 404 not found. Finally, it's need to provide Axum state and layers for authentication and session. The layer should go last according to documentation. In the end, rate limit and compression layers can be enabled by cargo features. Axum Session is nice library, it has multiple databases support, I wanted to use it with Prisma. Looking at implementations of database pool, I created Session Prisma Pool. Going back to Leptos Roads Handler, we first render up component on server. Creating a script with user data allows to embed this information from server to HTML, then extract it on the client. This is slip and it's an entry point for the client. And this is an example how JavaScript data can be extracted to Rust. I copied this approach from Leptos Reactive Hydration. Below Leptos mounts application to body. Back to the app component, it has router with roads. 
Protected road is handy to guard nested roads by condition. For example, if I'm logged out and going to posts, I'll receive 302 redirect to login page. Layout has outlet component and this is where nested roads will be rendered. Now let's see post page component. Use params returns memo, then need to extract ID from these params. Resource should react on ID and load data. Get post in this case is a server function. It uses generated Prisma client, so everything is strictly typed. Effect to redirect after new post creation. Read write signal that allows to create slices. For example, slug is used on multiple places on page. Created post has post images component. Bunch of actions and images resource will react on them to reload images data from the server. Let's see how image preview and upload looks like. To preview image from file input we need to create base64 object URL string and to upload image to server function. For now there is a way to pass file as byte vector. Here are examples for both of these conversions. There is websys method to create object URL and we need to enable multiple features on the websys create. Then there is tricky part how to get byte vector using array buffer and awaiting its promise. On the server parsing that byte vector from string, then goes extensive usage of image create. First read image to detect its format, write this information to the database and save original image on the file system. Then decoding to prepare it for conversion into multiple sizes on WebP format. I had to extract exif information and rotate image before transformation, because image create is doing its job with images processing, but reading exif is a different story then converting images in threads and weighting them by joining handles. Now I'll go through the process of compiling this project and using CLI. First deleting generated Prisma client and escalate database. Let's see what aliases we have for cargo. Running Prisma DB push will create database with tables and generate client. Prisma Studio correctly shows all tables with zero records. Now I'll run CLI. One will create initial record for settings, another command will create user. Running admin in dev mode. Login. It works. No records for posts. Also running site in dev mode. Shows no posts. Let's create post in admin. And it's still not found on website. That's because I didn't publish it. Let's publish. Now it's found. Finally, we can build for release and for that I created scripts in ops folder. You can see my environment variables. I'm targeting ARM64. Build script enables prod feature to include rate limit and compression layers for Axum. Then pre-compressing assets and uploading them plus binary to the server. Run script will go to server, kill previous instance and run binary using nohub. Ok, let's run it. Friday deploy. Looks good for admin. Deploy inside. And reloading pages, phew, it works. So that was it. Thank you for watching.